All right, 2006 F-250. I would need to do U-joints, uh, wheel bearings, uh, inner and outer axle seals. This one, I've already done the other side. This side, the caliper has seized up several, I think I put two calipers on this. Both times, the brakes got red hot. And I think it's just cooked all the grease out of that bearing. It's not loud, um, and there's really not any play in it. But the U-joint on this passenger side is real bad. So I uh, might as well take this opportunity to replace the bearing. The uh, next part is going to be peeling off the caliper bracket, hanging it up, um, so we can pull the rotor off, pull the uh, the hub out, pull out the snap ring, peel the bolts off from the back of the wheel bearing, and hopefully we can smack the bearing out. All we should have to do is pull off the uh, two twenty-one millimeter caliper bracket bolts, and uh, you know leave the caliper attached, leave the pads in and just hang it up. Take off the swivel. I'll be eating up some of the power. There we go. Caliper didn't want to move. Hopefully, it'll come up past the. Oh, okay. Easy peasy. I got a hook to throw it on. the rotor slides right off. I'm going to go ahead and take this opportunity to spray some WD-40 on things we got to get loose. Alright, plan of attack now before we take the, uh, the hub bolts off. Take out the uh, wheel speed sensor um, and you know the various wires. There's a plug on the under on, on the uh, underside of the inner fender cover. Then pull off the Torx bits. I believe they're T27 to pull the hub out. And inside of there is a big C clip. We're gonna have to pull out. Um, and then we'll take off the four 
21 millimeter bolts on the back and hopefully this hub comes out without too much trouble um, and hopefully the hammer won't have to be too big. Fortunately, the uh, speed sensor came out uh, without too much difficulty. Now I'm going to pull off the uh, we'll pull off the uh, the bolts for the locking hub. So there's a couple seals in here you want to worry about. One, this is O-ring across here. That's going to be part of the vacuum system that actuates your auto-locking hubs. Um, there's a kind of a rubberized kind of gasket on the back here that just needs you just need to make sure it's in decent shape so it's not letting water in the hub. Um, and before I put these back in, I'm going to clean all the grease out of it and, and re-grease it because I, I don't know when the last time it's been done. Now if you look in here, that is that big O-ring, or a big uh, C-clip rather. Um, we'll have to yank that off and then uh, pull the bolts out of the back uh, and then we should be able to, to smack this hub off. So these are the pliers I'm going to use. Um, these are actually Icon from Harbor Freight. They're 9 inch external C-clip pliers. These are about the smallest ones I'd recommend using. Um, I'm a big guy and I got a lot of grip strength but even these um, you know, it can be a little difficult pulling them off with. All right, I'm gonna see if I can do this uh, one-handed. All right. Ow. We got it though. Just gotta yank it out. All right, well, let me go grab a pick so I'm not fiddling around with that, and I'll be right back. So she's a, uh, she's a good size C-clip. All righty. Now I'm at the point to uh, pull these big bolts out of the back, and hopefully uh, this will you know, come off pretty easily. A 
Let's see if I got enough in my, my little pea shooters to get this off. This one on the top, I'm gonna have to go out with a uh, sh shorty with a wobble bit to get around the U joint. I suppose I could probably spin it around, maybe. I might have to. <laughs> Loosen that one up. <sighs> Turn the wheel. Do the other side. Switching back to the deep. I gotta get an extension on this one. All right, well that one I just spun the stud out with it. Oh, she's hot. <sighs> also, this is the, the Milwaukee Mid-Torque. I think it's got like 500, 550 foot pounds, something like that. Um, does okay most of the time, but you know, if you're taking off something real big, these wobbles or any kind of extension, they'll, they'll suck a bit of power out of it. I think I should be able to get in there with three eight drive. Uh, this is a uh, taupe tool. Is it going to focus? Probably not. Uh, Twenty one millimeter three eighths, and I'm going to use a little socky, uh, stubby Milwaukee. I don't know if she's going to have the beans to get it done though. Try to pull this bad boy off. Um, 
the other side, the driver side, when I did it a while ago, it did not want to come off. Um, so hopefully we'll have a little bit better luck with this one, but my suspicion is is that this wheel bearing has never been off. You know, this truck has 200, over 220,000 miles on it. It actually has already broke loose. I'm gonna get a little bit of WD-40 in there. Um, the studs coming out probably helped us a lot because that's a one less thing for it to seize on while it's coming out. Yeah, that was actually super easy compared to the last one. Uh, this is this is an aftermarket wheel bearing. I was wrong. Ugh. So, obviously, after we pull the axle shaft out, if you need to replace uh, ball joints, this would be a perfect time since the knuckle, you know, would be bare. Um, so I'm going to reach behind there with a pry bar and try to pop this seal out. I have a new one, so I'm not worried about. I don't even know if you can reuse these, but I'm going to go ahead and pop that out and then we can get the U-joint out of that axle. All right, well, she's out. I apologize for not recording it. Uh, what I noticed is the seal was not flush in the back. It was uh, kicked in more than one side, like, like they didn't use the right tool to set it. So what I did is I took the seal driver um, you use for these Fords, smacked it back in, uh, put it back in flush, and then uh, I was able to pop it out. Um, if you look here, you can see it'll focus. Uh, those U joints are bad. Um, caps are all busted. Uh, you can see down in there. Um, anyway, so we'll get this on the uh, the vise, and then we'll start working on these, uh, trying to get these U joints moving. Just uh, well, you can't see, but just a little bit of corrosion in there. It can it can get them stuck on pretty good. Focus, focus. There we go. Uh, so it has a grease point. I have, I uh, never greased it. Might be why it's bad. Um, I did not realize this was a an aftermarket U joint. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a a whizzy wheel and just go around here and uh clean this all up so the seal seats on it nice um, we need to come in here and we'll focus if I can make it focus focus there we go you can see right under there we have uh, some c-clips we got to pop out and then we can start smacking it not on the ears but over here and try to get this thing to, to start moving so we can take the caps out. There we're, 
There we go. Alrighty, now I've got to go through and where those caps were in such bad shape. You can see it right there. That's hanging out. So I've got to go through and uh, get rid of all those burrs. And I'm just going to use a, uh, a curved file to knock those down. So here it is. I get it in focus. It's cleaned up. Uh, this area here's a little dirty, but it's in a it's in decent shape. And over here, I've got the replacement new joint. I have it, it's a AC Delco Professional. Um, we'll take the caps off, put them in, um, and it comes with a grease fitting and then the uh, inner C clips. Something to think about when you take the caps out is make sure your uh, your needle bearings uh, stay uh, stay in there and stay kind of straight up against the sides because um, you don't want them going sideways when you're trying to put it in. C clips are in. Um, now I need to put in the uh, Zerk fitting and we'll pump some grease in her. Got the grease fitting in, got it pumped up with grease, had blue grease in it, put red grease in, blue grease came out, it's full. Uh, now what I need to do, walk around all my, my mess here. I gotta clean this out um, and drive in the axle seal that would go right there, the inner part of the axle. All right, so I'm just gonna get in here with some brake cleaner first, uh, clean all this out, um, and then I'm gonna put a, a slight coating of oil to help me drive the seal in. This inner, there's a lot of junk in here. Uh, from where there basically wasn't a seal in here before. It was so beat up. Might as well not have been there. It's 
scrape all this out because this seal in the, on the inside can be, be kind of difficult to get in there. I do not have my seal driver set right now. So this is the seal that goes, um, it's gonna go back here inside the axle shaft, or inside the axle tube rather. Um, you know, a lot of people don't put these on, um, but it helps keep junk out of your axle tubes. And also, um, when you reinsert the axle shaft, um, this does a good job helping you line it up so it goes in easier. Um, and I'm gonna punch it in with this oil filter socket, or uh, yeah, socket, because uh, I don't have my seal driver set right now. All right, and here's that seal installed. So I'm gonna now, so I'm gonna clean this up, and then I'm gonna put a thin layer of grease in here, and then probably a little bit out here, um, in case I have to take this wheel bearing off again. Um, it'll be a little bit, I mean, it wasn't hard this time, but I've had them be very hard to get off. One thing you want to be careful about is right here, there's the hole um, for the uh, vacuum operated hubs, not to get grease in there. All right, I went ahead and got the uh, bolts off of the old studs. The uh, wheel bearing comes with new studs, um, but doesn't come with new bolts. I went ahead and installed the uh, O-ring that came with it. And then we have our new uh, C-clip right here. And we'll go ahead and jam it all in. Well, I'm gonna carefully install our axle shaft, try not to destroy the new seal we just put in. Now what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to get the that axle shaft in in the axle tube. Seems lined up, but it's not going in. And you don't want to force it. Definitely. Now we're gonna put the wheel bearing on and I'm gonna try to make sure not to damage that, uh, that O-ring. The O-ring that runs uh, along the inside there.
All right, I'm gonna, it's almost seated. It's real close. I don't wanna go banging on it. Um, I'm gonna draw it in the rest of the way with the uh, bolts. Oh. All right, now I'm gonna run the uh, the wire for the uh, wheel speed sensor. I'm gonna flip this back over to the other side. All right, all right. Wheel speed sensor is in and wired. Um, these are all eight millimeter bolts, um, and then there's a Christmas tree fastener. Um, I don't I don't undo this one. I just use the screwdriver and pop it out because this one, this one breaks pretty often. And then they connect to uh, a connector that's right behind here. If you push those out, that's where the connector is. So now I will clean off this hub, throw a little bit more grease on it, and then put it right back on. All right, I got her good and greased up. Now it's time to put her in. All right. Uh, it's time to torque these down. These are torque to... Uh, it's 155 uh, foot pounds. All right, and now we're done.